Hey everybody, and welcome back to the second channel in my soundproof dungeon. Did you see uh, that? Uh, today I'm going to do q and I'm going to post me. on the community tab here and see if there's any cues that people would like to have aid. <laughs> Wait for some questions to come in. But first order of business is I will be going to Sweetwater's Gear Fest, June 21st and the 22nd. And if you're unfamiliar, oh man, there's a lot of stuff. I think I'm just gonna read it verbatim. Yeah. If you aren't familiar with Sweetwater's Gear Fest, it is a free two-day festival with the hottest gear, mind-blowing workshops, and performances by some of the best in the business, plus there's thousands of dollars of gear giveaways, camping. Camping? Camping and Gear Fest exclusive gear deals. Sweetwater's Gear Fest is truly a music maker's paradise. That's the copy. Are you gonna be doing a workshop? I know I'm doing like a panel. Oh, okay, cool. And it's in Fort Wayne, Indiana. That's where the Sweetwater campus is. So if you're on the Midwest, come by and hang out. We'd love to meet you. We're also doing a giveaway for a all expense paid trip to Gear Fest. So regardless of whether or not uh, you're in the Midwest, Sweetwater will fly you out if you win the contest. So that'll be down there. Thanks to Sweetwater for supporting the channel. We should have some questions in. First here, from Virtual Blaze, how are you? I'm doing hiccupy, de derped ask what are your favorite bands also i love your videos thank you that's just impossible for me to pick i'm gonna take a, an easy way out and say most influential band and that is definitely primus primus is is the reason um why i make videos uh, american football oh i love america yeah but if i go to like if i say american football where do i draw the lines but most influential primus specifically their music videos darren roberts says sup sup when did you first start playing guitar? I think I was seven. How long have you been roller skating? I've been skating my whole life. Roller blading my whole life. When did you really start though? It was around the same time, 1997. And I think I like started making skating videos at the same time too. So I pretty much found like music, skating, and video in 1997 and I've pretty much been doing nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Just totally committed at seven. Like, all right, this is my life now. Not a question. Video idea. Play a left-handed guitar. I've actually had that on the to-do list for a long time. Just never got around to it. When are your signature beanies going to be released? I wouldn't release like a signature beanie, but I seriously need more than just this one. Like I, I <laughs> this is a recipe for disaster right now because this is the only one I have. I only wear it in videos. I didn't never wear this in real life. But as soon as I lose this, it's gone. If we can find some place that makes hats. Yeah and get like duplicates of this made, I would love to have like 20. Yeah. So that I can wear it out, outside of the house <laughs> for videos. What's weird is I've actually tried. Did I tell you about that? No. I think this was before we worked together. I reached out to DFTBA to see if I could get this duplicated. Yeah. And I, they sent me like 10 different samples. None of them were, were a little close enough. The brims were all... Yeah. I got this one on eBay because I was replacing another hat that I wanted to like be my thing. So I've already lost one. Yeah. Oh, this is an easy one. Who's your favorite internet musician? Andrew Huang. Hey, it's Andrew Huang. All day long. When are you gonna do another video with Sarah Longfield? You guys are great together. Thanks. Uh, we don't have anything planned now. Sarah's super busy. Also, every time Sarah and I have filmed together, things have gotten weirder. Like when we were shooting, we probably said this in the, the making of the, the prison break video where we got locked into the cell, but the project we did before that is we actually shot a TV show in New York. It was a pilot, it didn't end up going anywhere. But it was really, really weird. And we got on the plane back to Chicago and said to each other, like, every time we get together, things get weirder. How are we gonna top this? And then the next Sunday youth group, like, the blood day was super weird. It's like, wow, it, it's actually weirder. And then the next day was, yeah. So I'm kind of afraid if we ever work together again, yeah. what we would be doing. Next time there's definitely gonna be some kind of ransom involved. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or it's like us recording an album while like getting surgery or something, like what would it be? What's your favorite guitar you've gotten recently? Okay, so I have two answers. The prototype for my seven string with Chapman. We're gonna be making a few changes to this. I'm gonna have one more prototype uh, and then it'll be in stores. So this is my honest answer, but if, you know, the guitars that I help make don't count. This thing. The double neck. We have some videos with Mary Spender and I on that coming soon that I'm really excited about. So those, those are my two answers. I've been writing a few heavier metal tunes with the seven string recently I'm really excited about. How tall is Rob Chapman? Seven feet tall? Yeah. <laughs> 
He is a nine foot tall man. You don't really notice it in videos, but he's like two stories tall. Do you enjoy a fine glass of milk from time to time? From an account called I Like Milk 22. <laughs> With cookies, yes, otherwise, no. How hard is it to find the instruments, guitars you use for your videos? Also, hi, hi. Sometimes it can be a real challenge. The double neck thing kind of fell into my lap. I searched weird guitar on Reverb and found this. Honestly, it's it's harder to get the, like the interview stuff that we do, like, or locations. Those are a lot harder. Getting weird instruments, is not too difficult. Um, though the Theorbo was a challenge because there's not, there's two Theorbos in Chicago and they're very expensive, so it's not something people are willing to loan out to you. Thanks to the lovely people on Patreon, we have an upfront budget for every video. So if I find an instrument that I think would make for a good video, I can use that budget to get one. Do you pour your milk or cereal first? A lot of milk stuff. Is it the same milk guy? No, it's a different guy. His username has nothing to do with milk. What is happening? Yeah, I don't know. I switch it up. And by that, I mean I don't eat cereal. What is your favorite song that you've made? Mine personally is Ottawa. Oh, that's cool. That's that's an old one. What is your favorite song that you've made? It kind of switches around. Um, recently, I've been playing Envy through on, on my H string just for fun. So I guess right now that would be it. But usually the most the song I'm most excited about is the newest. So this track that I'm doing with a seven string right now is my is the song I'm most excited about. Rain is probably my strongest. And this is hypothetical. This isn't a, a plug for anything that's coming up. If there was like a movie and they wanted one of my songs and I had to choose like what would I want to represent my music, I'd probably choose like Anchor or Rain. Okay. But I guess it depends on the movie. If it's a horror movie, then it's back to Envy. <laughs> What's your favorite guitar brands? Uh, I mean, there are a lot of great brands out there. How much do you pay Mr. Wibblespoon for video? I'll send you the bill. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm still paying off those loans. It'll be a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. How did you make rain? What was your thought process during it? I was 14, I think, like 15. I know I rode my bike to my friend Nick Daniel's house who had this new crate amp that had delay in it. And I was just messing around with the delay. I was trying to learn Scenery of Spira at the time, which is a song from Final Fantasy X, the video game. And I kind of learned those chords from trying to figure out Scenery of Spira and uh, just put two and two together and ended up creating rain. And I didn't have an amp at the time, so then I bought the same amp because that would be the only way that I would be able to ever perform it. It's maybe my oldest song. Okay. It's all been downhill from there. Kind of sad, I don't have anything to ask. Well, you got in the video anyway. What is the biggest drawback of running a music YouTube channel? That's a good question. You got an answer? That it's 24 seven? Yeah, yeah, I would say like the drawback would be the similar drawbacks of just like running your own business. That it's all the time and it can be a bit overwhelming. Yeah. The content treadmill. Favorite song off of the winter's months, excluding Amy's song and short song. I would say short song. Though that is a very old album. I wrote those songs when I was like 19. But I think Short Song holds up. But I wish that it was longer. <laughs> like Short Song really shouldn't have been so short. Where's the Hurdy Gurdy metal video? That is, that's a good question. We just couldn't get to it in time. We could still do Eventually, it. Yeah, we can, it, eventually. I'm going to say on that one. What's your favorite video you've made? And what instruments can you gent on? <laughs> I'll, I'll stick to the, the first one. I think getting delay without effects is probably my strongest video. What's your favorite video that we've made? I really like metal in very inappropriate places. Yeah, it's probably as far as comedy that's a really strong one. Ooh, here's a good one because there there was a few about there was a few about guitar tunings here. Did you come up with the F C F A G C E tuning or did you find it somewhere else? I found it somewhere else. That is the tuning for Never Meant by American Football, and I just added two more strings to it on the H string. What are your top five video games? Uh oh. Here we go. Uh -oh. All right. If we're going all time, we got a PlayStation from a family friend, PlayStation 1, early 2000s, and I played Spyro 2 a million times as a kid. So, Spyro 2, and then gotta go Spyro 2 in the Reignited Trilogy. Play Dead's Inside, it's amazing. Just stop watching this video and get it now. And don't look at anything about it, spoilers like from our album. <laughs> Don't listen to the first of October album. Journey was really cool. I played that recently. Tetris, for sure. Dr. Mario, that's more than five. Am I missing something? Did you say Tony Hawk? Oh yeah, duh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. All the the first, you know, up until, Underground was cool, I didn't like Underground too. So that's not, I'm not even gonna pick five. Those are just a bunch of their like. It's your process of writing a song, uh, that always changes. Um, sometimes it's it's really, really quick, and often a certain type of song really only needs a small amount of time to be made, and it's good to have a time limit on it, and then other times, like this 
a metal one that I've been working on, I've been working on for like six months. In your opinion, what was the most musically challenging video to film? Which one took the most talent to actually perform? In recent memory, definitely the Mario theme. That was really, really, really difficult to play. I wasn't anticipating it to be so, and I had like two days maybe to like get it down. Like and that one just kicked my ass, the Mario theme. In recent memory, definitely that one. Uh, the hardest video was probably Enter Sandman Backwards, uh, but that's something different. Yeah, yeah, the Mario, uh, strangely. When will this Q&A be uploaded? Right now. Thoughts on pineapple and pizza? Pizza's better without pineapple. Deep dish, spinach, sausage, duck. At this point in your YouTube career, you probably have seen a lot of the same comments over and over. What comments are your favorite? The timestamps are really fun. Like if someone finds, because we often will put like Easter eggs into videos and seeing like, what the hell is that at 245 or whatever? Like those are probably my favorite category of comments to read. It's like, all right, they got it. Like we put Buckethead in the Tetris video. And I don't think anyone found it. That's my favorite um, category of comments. And that was from nine seconds ago, so that is the video. If you would like to go to GearFest, link below to the contest to get a free trip there, or if you're in the Midwest, um, come hang out. Yep, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>